Papaenga. I kill a bitch with my finger. There you go. Get that rap going. <laughs> I love it. Keep going. Hey, it's day 14 for our wine expert, Private Reserve Savion Blanc. And so now we're gonna check our readings. We're going to transfer it into a new fermenter. Right now, you should still have three packets left. The only one we're gonna use today is the sorbet packet. So you can put the rest of the other two back in the box because you're gonna use those tomorrow. Things you're gonna need for today are your hydrometer and cylinder, your degassing tool, I can't wait, your wine thief, and your auto siphon, and a drill. You can skip the drill and the degassing tool and just use a regular spoon to stir, but the degassing tool cuts your work time down from 10 minutes to four minutes. So when we're degassing, we're going to spin the wine on medium, one direction, and then we're gonna change directions every 30 seconds, okay? So we're gonna get into it right away. We're gonna pop the top on this. Oh yeah. So now we're gonna check the readings one last time. Just let it sit on there. It'll rise by itself, then you put your thumb. And I always like to do this over the wine. Whatever spillage I have, I don't waste everywhere. All right, so we're down to 99.990 on our hydrometer. So now we're just gonna pour this wine back into the, and pour it slow, because you don't want to disturb that sediment at the bottom. Now it's time for the fun part of this show. We're going to transfer this wine using our auto siphon and these make it super easy to transfer your wine. So you're gonna to wanna to put the end part in this already cleaned and sanitized bucket. You put this auto siphon here. You wanna make sure it's not touching the bottom because what we're doing today is taking the wine because it's wine now, it's no longer must. We're taking the wine off the lease, which is the yeast sediment and putting it in a clean fermenter so that it can age. If you leave your wine on the lease too long, it can impart funky taste and smell into your wine. So you wanna make sure you stay on time with your transfers. So let's get this started by you're gonna pull up, push down, pull up, push down, and it should get going real good for you right there. So that's gonna take about five to 10 minutes to fill up. And we just, you know, watch it as it goes. I like to take a couple of videos and post it on Twitter. So check me out under Mad Wine Chemist on Twitter and Instagram and TikTok. So you can see some of these little clips before our videos come out. An important part of this step is you make sure you put your wine thief right above your lease. You don't want to mix too much of your lease in. You may have some that gets transferred in there, but that's okay. It'll, it'll settle to the bottom. We're going to take care of that. But this is what your, your bucket should look like once it's all transferred over and then you have this clean wine right here. So the next step says that we need to put in our sorbet. Sorbet. Pour it in, pour it in, pour it in, pour it in, pour it in. Now here comes my favorite part. I have my drill set on medium. I've attached my degassing tool. So we're getting ready to degas the wine. So you wanna start slow. And you're gonna agitate the wine in one direction for about 30 seconds. We're trying to take out CO2 that is a part of the wine making process. We're trying to get all of that out of there. It helps clear the wine, makes it taste better. You're gonna do this for two to four minutes. Another way to know when it's time for you to stop is if you don't see any bubbles at all. So we're gonna switch directions, go the other way. You wanna hold the drill as still as possible while you're doing this process. I love this. This is my favorite part of wine making. Really getting in there and degassing this wine. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing to our lower level kit. Because remember, this is a comparison video. We're going to compare these two wines with each other. So we're going to make them at the same time. And at the end, we're going to taste them, compare how they taste, and see which one is worth its price. Make sure you remember to clean your, your buckets, your fermenters, all your equipment immediately. 
You don't want to leave any wine residue or anything left over because it may cause it to grow bacteria, fungus, or anything like that that will ruin your equipment and ruin any future wines you make. And we have a reading of 0 0.990 on our hydrometer. Pull up, push down, pull up, push down, and there you go, it's off and running. All right, so we're done degassing, and I'm gonna take my already cleaned and sanitized top. I always re-clean and sanitize my tops. Close it up, put the bobber in there, and slide it, and set it and forget it, y'all. So we're gonna let this one sit for about 26 days, and that one sit for about 56 days. We'll bottle and compare. So see y'all in a... Okay, so it's day 26 for our Wine Perfect Savion Blanc entry level kit. And on day 26, they recommend that you transfer it over into a new fermenter and get it ready for bottling. So we're gonna pull it off any minute sediment that may still be in here. And you can tell it's ready for bottling because it's super, super clear. We've got the transfer started. And as you can see, there's a little bit of sediment, a thin layer of sediment at the bottom of the barrel. You wanna make sure you keep your auto siphon just above that so you don't get that in your new bucket. We're gonna fast forward through this as we get ready for bottling. Now that we've used our auto siphon to transfer it from one bucket to the other, this one may seem a little different. It is, it's a six and a half gallon bucket. So we're gonna go ahead, seal it up and let it sit until day 28. And that's when it's time for us to bottle. Four to six weeks later. It's bottling day for our Savion Blanc Classic. So we're going to get into that today. First, we're gonna go over what you'll need. A hand corker or a floor corker, corks. Here's some optional items, labels, heat shrink, your auto siphon with a bottling tip, a bowl to rest your bottling tip in, and bottles. I've already cleaned and sanitized my bottles. So we're gonna go ahead and put the bottling tip into the bottle, press down, and it will automatically fill up and stop. You get about five bottles per gallon, and this recipe was six gallons. You will lose a little bit of wine when you siphon off your wine. I say anywhere between 25 and 30 bottles is what you're gonna need for this recipe. Now that we've bottled our wine, it's time to cork. I have my hand corker and a bowl full of sanitation water. I soak my corks so that when I put it in my hand corker, it's a little bit easier. What y'all doing over here? So go ahead and line the corker up and slide it down. And just like that, your wine is corked. These next two steps are optional. We're going to add heat shrink to our bottles to make them look a little bit more legitimate. Um, you can do this step with hot water, a heat gun, but for us ladies, we already have our blow dryer. So let's get rolling. All right, so I bought these labels from my local brew shop. You can also purchase them on Amazon, link in the bio. So we're gonna just put these on our bottles to make them look a little bit more presentable. So we're gonna line this up in the middle of the bottle. You wanna put the middle on first and then use your thumbs to go from the middle out so you don't have any bubbles. This one's a little crooked, but that's okay because this is a homemade bottle of wine made by you, the winemaker. So, and there you go, your own bottle of Savion Blanc, made in your home. Hey y'all, it's Mad Wine Chemist, and I finally made it to my auntie's house. And we're gonna compare the more expensive kit wine to the least expensive kit wine, and see if it's worth it for you guys. So the first one we're gonna start off with is the $75 Wine Expert Savion Blanc kit. So ladies, Let's just okay. try this and see what we think. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. always. Cheers. 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 Happy birthday. Yes. Happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. It was her birthday last time. It's yes. her birthday this time. Yes. So We're always sure. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, so first of all, I really like the smell. It's really light. It has a good finish, but a little bit of a, I don't know, a little bit of a, 
a little city? bit of a, a, t a city in the yeah, in yeah. Uh, but it's good. I mean, it's light. It's not at all offensive. I would absolutely, you know, I would, I would check it. Mm -hmm. And I think it would actually be good with uh, a summer barbecue type of wine. You know? Yeah, I can see that. That would be nice. Yeah, because it would kind of cut some of that barbecue sauce and things like that. Mm -hmm. But it's good. It's good. I think we're all ready to get to the more expensive one. We've yes. already we've been sampling before the camera started rolling. Just a little, not a lot. Just a little. This is a good kit. A couple of things I saw while I was making it. One, the kit didn't come with any labels. Um, it started the clearing process during the fermentation process, which I found was a little weird to help speed along the winemaking process. I'm not sure if that diminished some of the flavors in the wine, but this kit did finish in four weeks. Now we're on to the Private Reserve Sauvignon Blanc, and these grapes come from New Zealand. And right off the bat, you can tell there is a color yeah, difference. Absolutely, yeah. it's a beautiful yellow. It's very golden. Really pretty yellow. Mm -hmm. Tell us our energy is my anger. The, the energy I is kill a bitch my anger. There you go, get that rap going. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, she's rapping. I love it. I can tell right away it's a little sweeter, I think. Slightly. It's a little bit of a sweet, not, not a lot, not, a, not in an offensive sort of way. It's a little bit sweeter. It's got a lot more body. I was yes. about to say it's light, but it's heavy. Yeah. Like it's a stronger, it's a stronger flavor. It sits with me a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. it's more meaty. It sits on, it sits on the palate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It has a very, for me, a very velvety spit, uh, finish. I mean, it just, it goes it's down smooth. very, very it's smooth. It's very, very yeah, smooth. It's very soft, very smooth. The, that one definitely had a bite to it. <clears throat> yes, mm -hmm. yes. I don't think the age is it. I think it's the quality of the grapes. You can taste mm -hmm. just the amount of grapes. I believe this one required us to air, add more water than that one. Ah. And so um, I'm gonna have to go back and look because it's been so long since we made it. But yeah, I mean, I really like the private reserve. And if I were going to make another kit, I believe I would make the private reserve. Yes, I think if you had the choice between doing the two, <clears throat> I would do the private. I think it's worth this money. Um, we calculated it earlier. Price for the kit is one seventy-five versus seventy-five. Seventy-five, and it's like five dollars per bottle, almost six dollars per bottle. Versus, I mean, yeah, it's gonna be cheaper, but you can definitely. It's just you can taste the difference. You can taste the difference. Yeah. I, I would definitely go with the private reserve. More sophisticated taste. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely, if you're going to give this out to people as a gift right. or something like that, right. then I guess you would go with a cheaper one. But if you if this is going in your home stock, I would definitely get the proper reserve. To the reserve. To me. The winner of today's, <laughs> to me. today's competition is the proper <coughs> reserve. Yes. yes. And a toast to me. Hands Again, down. to me. Okay. A toast to my sister. Please. Please okay, toast birthday. to, <laughs> please toast birthday. to Auntie. It's, it's yes. her birthday. Now, auntie it's needs birthday. the now, birthday month. You only have uh, one day left. I have one day left. I've been yes. celebrating for thirty days now. <laughs> this is definitely days. the la the best last day celebration. You get a little free wine. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, and I just want to celebrate. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Yeah, See y'all next episode. Ooh. Yes. Next episode. Episode. Oh, don't forget this episode was sponsored by Farm Boys Brew Shop. If you guys want to purchase these kits, you can purchase them from Farm Boys Brew Shop in store in Houston, Texas, or online. Link is below. Hit me, I'm gonna drop an album in about two weeks. So <laughs> hit me up. <laughs> She's 60, y'all. Don't pay any attention to her. <laughs> Thank you for watching Mad Wine Chemist. Don't forget to leave a comment and let us know what type of content you'd like to see in the future. If there's a food you would like to see paired, a wine you'd like to see made. And also, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell for the latest from Mad Wine Chemist. See you guys next time.